before we go, before we start, for those of you who are, maybe the blood pressure is a little high, it's a beautiful day outside, go for a walk. <laughs> Oral questions, question la, 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 the... The Honourable Member for Megantic L'Erable. Mr. Speaker, yesterday in question period, I raised a major issue facing Canadians. The endless delays, endless delays in getting service from the federal government, passport, employment insurance, revenue agency, immigration, it's all going wrong. As usual, the Prime Minister avoided answering the question, turning his back on thousands of citizens who are waiting, 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 and are still waiting, Mr. Speaker. There is a solution. Get federal employees back to work in their offices, like most Canadian businesses. When will the Prime Minister make S Services Canada meaningful again? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you for the question, Mr Speaker. Our government fully understands the importance of serving Canadians, especially now that our economy is rebounding so strongly, I must highlight that I don't fully agree with the MP across the way, with the idea that everything is going badly in Canada. The truth of the matter is that according to the IMF, we have the most rapid G7 economic growth this year and next year. Thanks to the work of Canadians, I'd like to thank them for that. The Honourable Member for Megantic Clérable. When the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister for Finance doesn't take an interest in the services proffered by its, her own government, this is very, very worrying. Public servants themselves are asking Canadians to call their MPs' offices in order to get basic services, Mr Speaker. We knew that the first 10-year passports were due to expire in 2022 before the pandemic services Canada processed 3 million passports a year. We are just getting back to normal now, and federal employees themselves are caught off guard because there was no planning from this Liberal government, Mr Speaker. Misplaced documents, overwhelmed phone systems. The list of excuses is endless. Can the Prime Minister give us a bit of hope and tell us when federal employees will be back in their offices serving citizens? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr Speaker. To start off, I would like to thank the public servants for the service that they offer to Canadians. They do work throughout the country. I tra travelled throughout the country yesterday. I thanked Department of Finance officials who do excellent work, and I know that public servants from coast to coast to coast work diligently and I think that everyone in this House must acknowledge the efforts that they put forward. The Honourable Member for Migrant Clérable. Mr Speaker, what the federal employees want is to be supported by their government. What federal staff want is to serve Canadians, Mr Speaker. What federal public servants want is to be proud of their work at the end of the day because they were given the tools necessary to deliver services that Canadians expect of them. What this government does is improvise and m make it that federal employees and public servants cannot do their jobs. Simple question. Will the Prime Minister finally ask federal public servants to go back to the office to serve Canadians? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I would like to highlight once again how we on this side of the House are truly proud of our public service and of all the federal government's workers who do exceptional work and who have done exceptional work during the entirety of the pandemic, and I would like to ensure public service workers and public servants that we are here to help them out by doing what they would like to do, which is helping Canadians.